Hey guys, DJAJ101 with you here today. Yes, I am back. I seem to have these big lulls where I'm back and then I'm not. Back and then I'm not. Been very busy, gonna try to keep on track here for a while once again. Just wanted to do another article. I've been a long time since I've done one of these, so I figured I'd ramp it up a little bit. It's been about one of the bigger news stories that have actually happened within the past month to month and a half. The big news was Scott Forrestal basically being forced out of Apple by a lot of his former colleagues, including Johnny Ive, Eddie Q, Bob Mansfield, actually coming back because of the departure of Scott Forrestal. And this has actually all been happening over the past, causing a lot of buzz over the past month or so, like I said. And um, there's actually been another interesting article posted about this, which is why I kind of wanted to go over it just a little bit more since I didn't make an original video about it. I was meaning to, but this actually made, made, me, pro made, me, made me and prompted me to make a video. Wow. It's been a while since I talked as well. I better get used to doing that. But anyways, I do have the article right here. I just wanted to go over it with you guys. I will leave uh, links to both articles in the description below. Uh, this first one just is about Scott Forrestal leaving Apple and the responsibilities kind of being spread around in different roles being put into place for the rest of the uh, senior executive management staff at Apple. And this will actually start with Johnny Ive. He's actually going to be the new human interfaces uh, person at Apple. He's actually taking on that brand new role, and this will basically make him the absolute top head of design, and he pretty much has to answer to no one, not even Tim Cook. He can make the final decisions for everything in human interface. And uh, that's actually going to be pretty cool. I, I can't wait to see if he can bring new innovation to iOS, as a lot of people have put. It's been, gotten, it's been getting rather stale over the past several Several years still the same icons really not that much innovation some cool little features along the way but Scott Forrestal didn't really innovate um, I guess as we would like to put it as far as you can see from Android and Windows Phone really taking those big lunges toward uh, the next innovation so we'll have to see what Johnny Ive can do Eddie Q is actually gonna be taking over a new role as uh, responsibility for Siri and Maps so he's going to be controlling all of the Maps and Siri interfaces as well so he will be taking over those hopefully he he can make drastic improvements to maps god knows that they need some and also siri could be better so i think he's going to do a great job doing that i can't wait to see what he comes up with craig federighi is actually going to be taking over what scott forrestal used to be a part of and that's ios and he's also going to be combining with the os 10 so it's going to be one unit. Uh, iOS and OS 10 are going to be one unit run by Craig Federighi, and he's going to have you know all the responsibilities of getting everything in uh, touch with this. And also Bob Mansfield is going to be in charge of a new focus group called Technologies. So he's going to be kind of focusing and innovating on newer products. So looking forward toward the future, seeing what Apple's going to come up with. And uh, just getting on to the second article, we've already known this for a while, just wanted to kind of recap. Uh, the second article I just found the other day, and this actually prompted me to make this video, um, because uh, this is actually what it said. It said, former Apple engineer says Apple is eventually doomed, suggests it started with Forrestal, Scott Forrestal's departure, the head of the iOS team. And this is actually coming from one of the senior engineers at Apple, one of the former senior engineers at Apple that apparently had worked with a lot of the senior executive team very close, including Scott Forrestal. And his name was Michael Lopp, and he suggests that Apple is eventually doomed because Scott Forrestal was probably the next closest thing to Steve Jobs on keeping the company on edge, because we all have heard the stories of when Steve Jobs was first running Apple way back in the day, in Apple's early days, that, you know, he was very rambunctious. He caused a bunch of havoc. He'd really rage war on everything, you know, including the Macintosh, as we all know. And he puts it that Scott Forrestal was pretty much the Steve Jobs protege, as he put it, because he had a lot of similarities to Steve Jobs, a lot of the you know, instincts, a lot of the great, you know, keeping the company on its edge. And he puts that um, because Forrestal is gone, that Apple will actually begin to lose its edge as far as keeping the company on edge, as far as innovating new products, as far as trying to take those educated risks, as Steve Jobs, you know, always put into the company. And he says, you know, Tim Cook is a great leader, but eventually, you know, because things have become so stable, things will eventually get stale and the company is eventually doomed to not be on the innovative edge that it once was. And he says Forrestal was probably the last big thing at Apple, that was probably the best reminiscent of Steve Jobs there, because you know Scott Forrestal was Steve's guy. He had brought him in at Next and brought him over from Next to Apple when he had come back in the late 90s, and really had started the innovation revolution with that with iOS. And Scott Forrestal is pretty much the biggest guy on the team here. You know, he's the runner of iOS. He's the runner of Apple's biggest mobile platform. Basically, what makes them all their money in a way. And um, you know, it's really hard to see. 
you know, if Apple's going to be okay in the future, especially with Scott Forrestal kind of being out of the loop now and uh, seeing if Apple can continue to be on its creative, innovative edge. But I just wanted to report this to you guys, see what you guys thought. It's really tough to say right now because I think Apple has a great at least five to ten year period where I think they're going to continue to do well, even with the products they have right now. I think they can continue to innovate. I think there's a lot of innovation still to be done in the software. There's still a bit to be done in the hardware, I think, and, uh, you know, new products will eventually trickle their way out as they begin to get finished but will scott forrestall's departure definitely take a long-term effect on apple because he is a fairly young guy i'm not exactly sure how old but you know he looks like he's in his you know late late 30s early 40s so he's a young guy you know and definitely has that energy and uh, from all the stories you're hearing about the app former, um, or, I'm sorry, not former, but Apple executives that work at Apple, kind of sounds like he has that mentality of Steve Jobs, always knowing, you know, when to take those risks in a way and always trying to keep the company on edge. But we'll have to see if this is a good thing or a bad thing. I just want to see what you guys think about this. So please leave your comments below. Let me know if you think Apple is going to be eventually doomed with Scott Forrestal being such a huge part of Apple for so many years and now is going to be gone and other roles passed on to other people that don't sound like they have the mentality of Scott Forrestal, or do you think Apple's going to be just fine and continue to cruise right along and new innovation can come on without this guy being there to maybe cause the ruckus that he has in the past? So love to hear what you guys think. Please leave your comments below. Also feel free to rate this video up, subscribe, check out my YouTube channel if you happen to like my content. But anyways, guys, rambled on way too long here for today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great one until then.